What is up YouTube? Welcome back to this channel. My name is Dominic Barbado with VendingBusinessSolutions.com and in this video, as the title says, we are breaking down how you can start a vending business of your very own with zero dollars in the bank account. So if you're a brokey, even if you're a multimillionaire and you want to learn about a risk-free investment and you want to make some cash flow as soon as tomorrow, we're breaking that down in this video. So make sure you smash that like button, leave a comment down below and subscribe to the channel for more content like this soon. We're on our way right now to show you guys what I'm talking about. Stay tuned. All right, so you may be wondering what it is, but it requires these and this. And no, we are not gonna rob a bank as much as a lot of you guys would probably like that, but we're doing something else, so here we go. All right, so these are the best ways to secure honor box. Oh, hold up. These are the best ways to secure honor boxes. A lot of people are like, oh, why don't people steal? People are actually pretty decently honest, but you basically zip tie this for extra security so then you know if anyone messed with your money. So basically you put the zip tie in through here. We have predefined holes in the box and we'll put this through and lock it up and then we'll check it in the next week or so. All right, all right, so here we go. This is how you're gonna do it. I'm doing a giveaway for all you guys watching this video. We're gonna give away two honor boxes to someone who comments on this video, subscribes, and likes this video, comments something useful. These boxes right here I'm about to show you, completely filled, 80 lollipops. Once it's empty, it'll have between 30 and $42 because we recently raised our prices on these boxes. But let me go in and show you guys an empty box. I'm gonna grab that box, bring it out, we'll count out the money, and I'll show you guys how much of a money maker these things really are so here we go let's take that off i put zip ties as stated these are kind of the best way to make sure no one mess with your boxes get one of these kind of tools for ten dollars at home depot and let's see how we did all right a lot of change not too many bills but one two three four five six seven eight nine and let me count up this change. All right, so it did about $18 bills and change when all of this is sold out. We've updated our new boxes. They hold 80 pops, so they'll cost you about $9 product cost. This costs about $7.70 product cost. So if you do 18 minus 770, you know you're getting about an $11 profit margin that you can take home, donate about a dollar or two to the charity of your choice, and you're taking home $10 for less than five minutes of work. And it is that simple, guys. Now I kind of want to just go over some more details. I'm sure you have questions about this business, and I'm going to kind of break it down here for you. All right, so this is another type of box. We have four boxes. You could head over to Vending Business Solutions and check out all of the boxes that we currently are offering and get a deal kind of on those. As well, I am doing that giveaway, so if you're still watching, make sure you comment down below like and subscribe and i'm picking one lucky winner to send two honor boxes to free of charge all you'll have to do is send me your email and then i will ask for your address and it's as simple as that but i want to go into landing accounts because obviously you can make the money with the boxes but how do you land accounts simply since these are so small you bring them into a location and you ask them hey would you mind if I place this on the counter? I see you have some space here. Even if you could just place it on the counter and show them and say, hey, it goes a little bit to charity. I try to donate a portion every single month to charity. And basically we put it here, no liability to you. And um, is this something you're interested in? Very simple, dress appropriately. You know, don't go in in, you know, gym shorts. And I mean, you probably could now because the pandemic's over, but you want to dress appropriately. You want to make sure you act appropriately as well because you're representing the charity of your choice. I also suggest making a small donation. If you're gonna buy 10 boxes, make a $10 donation to a charity of your choice that you're gonna work with and bring that into locations in a laminated sheet and say, hey, we work with this charity, we place these boxes, a portion of the proceeds every single month goes back to charity to help support XYZ charity. And you can find a list of charities on vendingbusinesssolutions.com. And with that, people are very willing to put these in their business. They take up almost no space and they offer almost satisfaction to employees or customers who are waiting there. They have a lollipop and it's really that simple for 50 cents. You know, what other pleasure can you get? Definitely the other side of it, obviously you're gonna get some rejection, not as much when you're cold calling for vending machines or bulk candy. These boxes fit almost anywhere. You just have to make sure you're going into the right account and the right type of places. If you're in a city or something like that, these boxes probably aren't gonna work as well. 
But if you're somewhere in the suburbs, middle country states, you know, Tennessee, Ohio, Illinois, Chicago, Texas, all these type of places, California, you know, even in New York, it works here, but more in the suburbs, I've seen the most success. But in terms of getting rejected, businesses will reject you and businesses will tell you no. But part of people saying no, it simply means next opportunity. So you have to take that as a learning lesson, figure out why they said no. If you were nervous, maybe that is why, but how you act, how you present yourself and who you talk to is ultimately going to decide your fate with if you place a box in that business. Also, if you want to go the route of hiring a company, kickstartlocations.com places honor boxes. It's about $40 a box, which I think is a little crazy. You can go out there and place these boxes for yourself. The reason the honor box business is great to even do parents, parents can help their kids even start a business. And I think even young kids, this is the perfect business for them, even for middle-aged people and retired people. This business works for a broad spectrum of people, but especially for parents trying to teach their kid valuable sales skills and soft skills in a world where technology dominates our life. I think it's very important to kind of go into places, talk to people, make a sale, and it's as simple as placing a cardboard vending machine in their business, and most of the people you will be surprised will grant you access to a little bit of counter space so that they can support the charity of your choice as well. As for charities, you know, the biggest thing you can do is donate a percentage. I say a dollar to $2 because you could realize that is somewhere between five and 15%, depending on how much the box makes every single month. And at the end of the day, if you have 10 of these boxes, that's 10 to $20 per month, going back to a charity of your choice. I love Feeding America just because the amount of rich people that will back the money that you back. So say you donate $100 a month, they'll back that and they'll donate 100. So you're technically donating 200, which is almost 2000 meals for people that don't have food every day. Don't 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 tell me how they're feeding people for 10 cents. I don't know, but that's what they say on their website. And I think that's a beautiful thing. But we got Feeding America, you got the Breast Cancer Coalition, and you have any other charity out there. You have uh, veterans, vendors for veterans. You can do wounded warriors for the military style boxes. There are so many charities out there if you just do a simple Google search and look up the different businesses out there, stand behind one of them, support one of them, make a donation, buy some boxes and get started in this business for very cheap. It is almost, it is almost the lowest capital cost business that exists out there that you can start making cash flow as soon as you place a box. And I think so many businesses out there right now are offering you the opportunity to make money, but it's like six months down the road, 12 months down the road. These boxes make you money as soon as they're placed, they are starting to generate cash flow. So just realize that. And I think that's the opportunity that's here with these boxes. And theft is a big thing. You know, I'm not gonna lie and say that someone won't swipe a box, meaning they don't just take a box and steal a box, or someone won't just try to rip open the box and, you know, take some money out. I've obviously been doing honor box, the honor box business for, <clears throat> about three years now. So in those three years, I've seen a lot. I've seen boxes stolen. I've seen money stolen. I've seen lollipops stolen. I've seen people put notes inside. I've seen people put toothpicks, paper clips inside. That stuff happens. Let's not avoid that. But also, as you guys see, there's also money involved in this and money is being put into these boxes. There are trustworthy people out there that do want to support the cause and simply just want a lollipop for 50 cents because where can you really get anything that kind of satiates that uh, you know, craving for some type of candy for 50 cents or a dollar. I don't think you really can. So these boxes kind of serve as that purpose and they serve to donate to charity. Yes, there is theft. And the way to minimize it is putting the box directly in front of wherever the cash register is. If you have a cash register and you put a box right next to it, those boxes are going to perform so much better than if the box is on the other side of the restaurant or somewhere where no one can even see what's going on. I've seen those do worse. So where you place the box is important. And even in terms of the demographic, the city of where you place, place the box is important. And the, the real thing is though, most of the people are very honest. My theft rate usually is pretty low on that box that you guys saw. The theft rate was quite high, maybe in like the 10% range, but still we were profitable on the box and it took less than five minutes to service. So for $10, I'm not gonna complain as compared to doing a huge vending machine that takes 30 minutes of time. And then I'm still only making 50, $60 a pull you know, you could do the math, what's easier, what's not as hard to do, what doesn't take as long to service. And that's kind of where the breakdown goes with these boxes. And it's a perfect segue into how much money can these honor boxes make in a certain time frame. So you have some honor boxes that you can place within a week, they'll do $25. You have other honor boxes within two weeks, they'll do $15. And then you have other honor boxes within a month, they'll do $20. 
So it depends on the location, the volume, and how many people are going in in terms of kids, parents, grandparents, stuff like that. And the breakdown really depends on the locations you put them in. Now that we've increased the capacity of the boxes, the size of the boxes, the money box can hold a lot more. We've made them more secure. Um, I really think, you know, within a two week span of time, these boxes for you should make upwards of $30. You know, I can't guarantee how much your money you're gonna make because I don't know the businesses you're putting in, but now that we've increased our margin one, the lollipops are now 50 cents for one and a dollar for two, and we've allowed now 80 lollipops in the boxes, you now can expect anywhere from $32 to $42 once the box is completely sold out. So if you're making anywhere, if you're making $30 off of it, that's 80 lollipops, which costs you about $8.80, and you made $30. That's about a $22 margin that you now have in terms of cash flow. So you do that with 10 boxes. Let's say it's $200 just for even number. Now you can go out and buy your bulk vending machine. Now you can go out and put a down payment on a full line vending machine for a new account. And on top of that, you now have the sales experience to be able to go into locations and talk to business owners. You're not scared anymore to be rejected because you've had the practice with these boxes. These boxes are a great buildup to not be scared and nervous to talk to business owners and people anymore. They teach you that valuable skill that is so important in the vending machine business, which is sales and lead generation. If you can't even do that, then I don't know how you're gonna be a business owner because business is all about talking to people and making connections and relationships with people and networking. So I think that's an important thing to kind of mention. Here are a few things that I think makes this business so desirable for a lot of people ranging from young kids and parents teaching their kids business as well as retired people who just want to make extra cash to sustain an income during a time where kind of inflation is killing people who are living on a fixed income. So number one thing is monthly cash flow on your schedule. So you can be making money on your schedule every single day, every single month by placing these boxes day in and day out and collecting them day in day out. All you need is a bike or a car. I had someone in the way beginning when we were selling these boxes on a bike, going to locations, saving money on gas and getting money from these honor boxes. It was amazing to see the hustle out there because you can cash flow these boxes into bulk gumball machines. And that's exactly what he did. And it was so sick to see and so awesome to support. As well, there's people who just have the cars and load their car up with 30, 40 of these boxes in their trunk. I've seen that too. And go out and do a route in two, three hours and they're done and they're net in three, 400 bucks. So it depends on your business, but it's awesome that you have that abil availability to pick you know, your flexibility, which goes into the next point, flexibility of schedule. I think that's important for a lot of people, you know, even for like stay at home moms. Now, if you have 10, 20 of these boxes, you can do them on your schedule. You can do them once a week, twice a week, go through a collection and kind of make that money on your time, on, you know, your ability to do it. And I think that's important for some people to kind of have that time freedom when it comes to uh, making extra cash flow as a side hustle. It's a local thing as well. You know, you're staying local with these boxes, you're supporting local businesses, you're making money locally, you're building yourself up within a network of your local community. And I think it's awesome to support the local community even in terms of a charity. I've seen many people donating to local food banks within their area and they're actually seeing the impact go right back into their area. They're raising money for local food banks and it's going right back into their local community. And that's a beautiful thing to do as a human being and as a person so obviously these boxes are for charity we want them to be for charity but we do also have boxes that don't require a charity at all so if you're not interested in working with a charity then go and check out our white boxes those would be the perfect boxes for you you can fix whatever label you want on those and you do not have to work with the charity or make any donation whatsoever as well i mean the boxes allow for greater product productivity in your life because now when you have different things going on, say you have an appointment here, or you have to do something here, you can go and do these boxes in between those times. So it allows for that flexibility in kind of what you're doing. And uh, I think that's a cool thing as well. Running a vending route, obviously I think allows for more quality time for family across the board. You're allowing your time to be with family and friends and people you love more and doing activities you enjoy rather than being spent at a job that you don't enjoy. These boxes allow you to get a sense of that freedom. So many people entering the honor box business are doing it just to get that sense of business knowledge and understanding that, hey, I can make $100, $200 by myself for myself. I can write my own check. And I think that's an important thing to realize with these boxes. They may not be your end goal and you may not see them as your end goal, but they could be the start to something bigger than you could ever, you know, imagine or dream of, you know? And of course, the last two things are tack break 
eligibility. If you start your LLC with this HonorBox company, you're gonna see awesome tax breaks in terms of you know putting gas in your car and being able to write that off at the end of the year, as well as a better work-life balance. You know, I think it's all about work-life balance now and you know putting your time where things matter. So if you're someone who's interested in cash flow, if you're someone who's interested in starting a business for once and getting into the vending business and not really being hesitant and overthinking the process, I think you go and you start an OtterBox business. I think it's a beautiful business to start. Work with a charity of your choice. See your life kind of unfold in that realm. Get out there, get some accounts. You know, come back on this video in a month, two months when you have a few of these boxes out and let me know how well they're doing. I guarantee you're gonna have some success. If you do not, you know, let's see what you're doing wrong. But as I said, some locations aren't gonna work and you're gonna have to realize that that first month, maybe you'll make $4 and you'll lose a couple bucks. Pull that box out. That's not a good account. Find another account for it, try it again. And maybe that account will be good. It really always depends. This is a rinse and repeat method. You kind of have to learn every location and the locations that don't work for boxes, pitch them a vending machine, pitch them a mini crane, you know, pitch them a bulk candy machine. Whatever you can do, you know, make sure your cash flow is optimized and make sure your route is optimized to make the most money possible. With that said, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I would really appreciate it if you commented, liked, and subscribed. Obviously, everyone commenting, you're entered into a giveaway to win two honor boxes in a week's time. We'll give it away to someone in the comments down below. And I'm excited for one of you guys to get started. And if you're interested in any more details about the honor box business, you can go to vendingbusinesssolutions.com, check that website out. And this is kind of how you get started in the vending business for the lowest amount of money possible. Follow me on Instagram at Dominic Barbado and follow our business at Vending Business Solutions. And I'll see you guys in the next video.